I'll start off by saying, uh, you know, uh, tough, tough game for our guys, for, my, for me and the coaches. Um, I feel like it was we could come in here and, and get some things accomplished. And, uh, and we just fell short. Well, that, like you just said, that, that started the momentum for them. We know uh, throughout the course of any game, there are mo momentum swings a lot of times. And, uh, and that, that gave them some, some energy and momentum. And, uh, and we just couldn't, uh, you know, stop it. Once they got it rolling, it, it seemed like it just like an avalanche a little bit. But we got to learn how to under be able to stop those type of things and, and, uh, and get better at that type of stuff. Can you kind of walk through the, those final drives in the, the fourth quarter? Offensively, you guys have been moving the ball decently all day. What changed those last two drives? I don't know uh, for sure. I, I, I have to watch. Sometimes you just got to go back and rewatch, like what happened. Other than momentum, I, you you see those things happen uh, throughout your sports. You watch sports, and, and momentum is a, is a major thing. That's a real thing in sports. And so I don't, you know, I don't want to make up anything and just say any old things. Say uh, maybe guys start doing, playing different, you know, doing different things they should have been doing and. All that kind of stuff. So uh, I'll watch it, and I can probably give you a better answer uh, in a, at a later date. How was the sideline at that point? Peyton, his first start, and everything. You're trying to stop, stem the momentum the best you can. I imagine. How? What was the sideline like at that? Point? It was still good. Like, when it first started, everybody knew that hey, we were still winning. Uh, we we were still up, and uh, keep going. You know, uh, keep giving everything that we have. Um, um, we, we talked about before the game, we talked about special teams, uh, maximum effort, giving maximum eff effort. We said offense, this is the mindset. We're, every time they went on special teams, maximum effort, offense, score, defense, three and out takeaways. And that's, that was, that's all we just kept saying. We just kept saying it even when that happened. I said nothing changes, nothing changes. Maximum effort on special teams, score on offense, and uh, three and out takeaways on defense. And we just kept saying that, kept saying that, and kept saying that. And uh, just tried to battle through it. Uh, with the uh, quarterback change, I guess, would you see um, the reason to go to Caton? And, and I, how do you think he did today, obviously, with less than ideal conditions? Uh, the reason to go to Caton, I thought we just thought it was an opportunity, you know, for him to go. We thought it was a chance to change it up a little bit. Uh, not, not that it was all uh, Noah's fault or anything like that, but we thought it was an opportunity to change it up and uh, and give him an opportunity to show what he could do. And, he, and we thought that he did a good job today, a really good job. And uh, and uh, happy that he got his first start and and, and uh, wish we could have got his first 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 win for him as well. The kick that they recovered. Well, they they've shown you know that that was a time of the game where you you go for onsides and things like that. So we, we got in our onside formation, and our and our deep guy was Tyrell Henry. Um, he knows in, in those cases when you bloop the ball up that you can go fair catch. And uh, I, I don't know if he felt like he could get to it to give the fair catch and get underneath it or what have you. And so uh, that that caused a little indecision for him, from my understanding. Um, but you know. We got to keep competing and keep going and, and, and be able to, uh, you know, make those type of plays. How shocked is the locker room right now having this game? Extremely, I think, you know, extremely. So, you know, no matter what, win or lose, you always have that 24-hour rule, and uh, and we're going to stick by that. You want to stick by that uh, and be able to push through that. We still have six games to play and, uh, and uh, a lot of football ahead of us. And so we, you know, got to regroup and reset. You know, I told him that adversity happens in life. I said, you know, 20, 30 years from now, you may be telling somebody, you're going to come back to the 20. Let me tell you about the 2023 Michigan State football team and what, what we went through. And uh, how that story ends is still to, still to be determined. And so uh, hopefully they're, they're going to show them how we, we overcame let me tell you this, man. We overcame this, this, and this and came out and, and did a really good job. So it's going to be a story to tell 20 to 30 years from now for them on adversity, and uh, it's going to be a good story. With everything that's happened in the last couple of weeks, um, the loss, the way it went down at Iowa, this one, do you worry about players silently quitting? I mean, they're not leaving the program. They're not leaving the portal, but they're not giving maximum effort. So. Well, you're, that, that's how you would know. You, that's how you would know, and and we haven't seen that out of any, anybody. So you can't fake it out. You can't fake your body language. Is gonna tell everything. Um, we talked about body language earlier this week. So you you can't fake it. 
In, in this game, you got to go hard and play hard and, and give everything that you have. Uh, otherwise, you'll get hurt. So you can't fail. We would know. We would know. Yeah, and most times, and guys that have been playing football for a long time, they know if you don't give everything that you have, that's when you get hurt playing football. You can't go out there half um, in a half manner mindset and try to play the game of football because that's when you'll get hurt. You know what Kevin did like, it like he was throwing in pregame? Was he healthy and everything? Or was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's good. I mean, it's good to take a little bit of sting off his body. I'm sure. You know what I mean. Not not playing, but he's good. He's good. The way they're able to run the ball in some of those fourth quarter drives uh, was that a wear down effect, or was that was that maybe some of that you know effort stuff? I guess where would you sort of think that was? Great question. Again, got to watch watch the film. Um, I think we had some things called and. and, and I don't know. I don't want to make something up and just say any old thing. You know what I mean? But uh, but we'll watch the film and, and and find out what the what the issue was, and uh, and get it corrected. Does this game feel like you had your heart ripped out? Uh, a little bit. Me? Yes. Yes. I mean, um, not that you know. I was like, we already had a win. It wasn't like that in my mind because I've been been around sports too long. But because we talked about finish, 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 finish. No matter what you got, we have to finish the game. Came in at halftime. That's all we talked about. Finish, finish, finish. And so, um, you know, felt like, you know, we had the momentum. But like I said, when the momentum switch happened, we couldn't stem the tide. We couldn't stop them from, you know, keep rolling down the hill. Avalanche turned to avalanche. So uh, we got to learn how to do that. Uh, this team is just keeps battling. Keeps battling for whatever reason we've been chosen for this assignment. So we got to stand up uh, in the midst of this assignment and, and find out what, what it all means. What do you think about the first two, the opening drive of the game, opening drive of the second half, those were both very clean. Was there anything to that? Because those were like, those were your, obviously your best two drives of the game coming out. And again, we talked about what our, what our goal, our mindsets were. Uh, special teams, maximum effort, offense, score. That's what that mindset is to score every time y'all hit the field and defense three and outs or take get takeaways and that's that was the mindset so they did that that was that was that was great to see and uh, we just got to continue to you know try to do that as much as we possibly can not only on the opening drives but throughout the the quarters and the, and the halves. Lucian comes in next week. How do you heal the players' minds and get them ready for that? Uh, by by like I said before, you got the twenty four hour rule. You get out, you know, just just. They can they can think about it tonight and you know, all that kind of stuff. We'll go over the film first thing on on Monday morning with them. They'll watch it. I'm sure everybody will watch it probably tonight or for sure by tomorrow. And then we we actually get with the players on it on Monday, get it all out of there, talk about the things we need to get corrected, and then understand that they don't care. They don't care. They don't. They will come in here and try to. Uh, they're going to give us their best effort, and so uh, we know that, and we will we will be prepared and ready. How about things that went well today for the first three quarters? Anything you can, at, uh, what was going well at that time that allowed you to build that lead? Did you see anything that was... I, I, th I thought we, uh, you know, we were just executing. You know, a lot of times when you execute, uh, you have good results, and so we were executing on offense. Uh, Kaden was getting in, into the right plays. Uh, Coach Jay was calling a great game, and uh, and and that was good for offensively as well as defensively. You know, we had some turn. We made, you know, we had some turnovers on offense, but we also got some on defense, three and out takeaways, like we talked about, and so we were getting those and. Um, that that that's that was the flow of the game that felt good to us and for us and guys were were, were believing and so it's, it wasn't until the momentum shift happened happened on the uh, the drop you know uh, punt deal where it kind of kind of changed on us. What you think of Keaton? How's your game? What was your observation? I thought he did a, I thought he thought, did a really good job. Uh, I like how he threw the ball. Um, I thought he had command of the offense and. Um, uh, it's a good player, right? and, I, and, I, and he started to even settle down even more as the game went on. Again, like if your first start, you're like, "Whoa, okay, um, how's this going to be?" But he got, he got it going, and, uh, and and like I said, Jay was calling the offense, and he was comfortable. You could tell that he was comfortable, and and he was making plays. So I thought he did a really good job today. What's your, a couple more. What's your, what's your order? What's your order there in terms of the? Um, is it Sam after? Uh, at this point, do you know where you would go if there was a need for a second quarterback? If if it would have been today, it would have been Sam just 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 to you know help continue to let Noah uh, heal or what have you a little bit. You know he could have Noah could have went an emergency situation type deal today, but Sam would have went. Now as we go through the week, coming weeks, we'll see how Noah's feeling and all that, and then then make a determination from there. But it's it's Caden's job regardless of how Noah's feeling.
As of right now, yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's that's fair to say, and uh, yes. How much do you think the, the miscues in the second half were the result of, of the weather? And, you know, I, both teams obviously playing in it, but that's right. You know, I guess. We were good early on, so uh, you know it's, it's part of playing the game of football. You're gonna play in inclement weather, and um, that's that's no excuse. No excuses.